Monday morning, guys. Welcome to Vitz Vlog. And oh, this is Carrie, and what a weekend we had in the beauty community. Today, we're going to talk about Manny Mua issuing an apology and removing his copyright strike on T Spill, a much smaller channel. Um, and we're going to talk about um, the conspiracy theories from Shane Dawson is coming back on January 30th. And also, I don't know, but Jeffrey and D Shane have been teasing on each video about a new uh, collaboration. And we're just wondering what in God's name that is going to be. Is it going to be with, related to aliens? What is Shane's video about? Stay tuned. Also, one of my favorite, favorite beauty gurus, Tati, has made a video and put it up this week about her stepping back a little bit because she and her husband are trying to have a baby and they're having some fertility issues, breaking my heart. But anyway, let's get right into Manny Mua. So I just want you to know that I spent most of Sunday putting this together. I'm very slow at putting these together because I'm fairly new at, at uh, YouTube and, and uh, working all these different programs. So I spent all day and I put together some slides with Manny and sort of the drama that was con uh, around him. And then late last night, a tweet buzzed on my phone. Okay, so on January 5th, uh, Manny MUA did a YouTube video, uh, a review of the brand new Morphe Fluidity, Fluidity <laughs> Foundation and Primer. And he did disclose that he is a Morphe affiliate and at the beginning of the video very clearly indicated that this foundation and primer may not be for everyone. In fact, he went in to describe that his uh, skin type was oily in his T-zone and dry in other areas, and he said that this may not be appropriate for everyone. So, moving right along, he gave the fluidity uh, review, and in my opinion, it was very honest. It, it was, you know, I liked it because of this. If you have this type of skin, you may not want to use this. And I don't know what more you can ask from a beauty review channel. Um, I, you know, at the end, he very clearly said, okay, so if you have this type of skin, I would recommend it. Um, so in, he was very clear about what he liked and what he didn't like. Okay, so after Manny's review, the internet blew up and a channel named T-Spill went and it's a gossip, beauty gossip channel clearly say it's not to be taken too seriously and they kind of mocked Manny and his review because it was kind of a so-so review. I mean I think everyone understands that Manny is an affiliate with Morphe and it's his livelihood. It's how he makes money. So Manny kind of gave an honest review I think in terms of you know a politically correct view, uh, politically correct review of a company's foundation that he's an affiliate with. He didn't want to say it sucked. I mean, what would that do for him? What would that do for any of us? So, T-Spill did a beauty gossip review of Manny's review of fluidity. <laughs> and that's where things got hairy because Manny started to receive hate, hate, comments he started to receive quote unquote death threats and things went downhill from there so let me give you a little bit of background obviously many of you know last august uh, there was a little function where nikita dragon gabriel zamora manny mua and laura lee were take took a picture giving a finger the finger uh to it is allegedly was given to uh, Jeffree Star. Now, Jeffree Star and Manny and all of these people used to be friends. There was something happened. We don't quite know all the details. Um, and that video, uh, that picture kind of went viral and people were, were really upset 
saying, you know, why would you do that? You're picking on someone. Like, let's be adults. You're all going to, you know, well, go your own way. You don't have to be bullies, okay? Consequently, after that photo, Laura Lee, Manny, Gabriel, not really Nikita Dragon, but basically those three lost an enormous amount of followers in August. And they kind of took a hiatus, and Gabriel and Manny had a little uh, falling out because Gabriel uh, wanted, uh, sorry, Manny wanted uh, Gabby to go out and apologize, and, and, you know, there was something going on behind the scenes. I don't know if it was Manny's manager, who I have a picture here. I was doing a little research of who it is. Her name is Christine Jones at Digital Brand, or I don't, I couldn't seem to track down whether or not um, he even had a publicist. So if he doesn't have a publicist, I would suggest he gets one. And if he does have a publicist, it's time for a new one because Manny, if you have these issues, you need someone to step on it and address them very quickly brushing these things under the rug and not talking about them and then going away for a month, it just exacerbates the problem. Address it like you did last night. So he came out, he he basically, you know, apologized to T-Spill and that's all anyone wanted him to do. They wanted him to remove his his copyright strike. T-Spill is a channel with about 680,000 subscribers currently, much smaller than Manny. And basically, you know, if you're a big channel like Manny, you know, you have to be cognizant of how it looks when a big channel sort of does something to a new and upcoming channel. It's almost like bullying. And people are not going to react well. So about three weeks ago, uh, there was some drama in the mukbang community where a small channel named Shookbang made fun of a video featuring... Stephanie Sue and Veronica Wang and Veronica Wang took offense to it and said that she basically should be the only one that can make fun of herself and she performed a copyright copyright strike on Shookbang and YouTube took down his channel for a day or so. Um, At that time PewDiePie uh, weighed in and basically said that the community sometimes has to step in that these copyright strikes are actually being misused. Here here are his comments. Not how it works. They don't mediate anything. So it's very easy to abuse copyright on YouTube and that's why a lot of times I think it's important for the community to step in and say no. That's messed up. You shouldn't do that. If, for example, this sort of thing went to court and uh, this Shook Bang video would some, for some reason decide, you know what, I didn't do anything wrong here. I'm going to fight this into court, uh, which is not going to happen, obviously. No, no sensible person cares about this that much. But let's say it did. This parody channel would most likely win because it's still fair use. They're adding their own uh, edits to the video. They're adding their own uh, text to the video. And it is transformative work in that sense. And what Veronica really is doing is putting down videos that she doesn't like. And uh, since this is literally just going to be handled on YouTube, she can delete this video. Right, strike. Now, I don't think Veronica is a terrible person. I think she just doesn't know how to handle criticism. And it's something that, you know, a lot of new YouTubers that aren't used to criticism struggle with. I struggled with myself when I started doing YouTube. So I can't really fault her too much. But I do think genuinely that she made a big mistake here and that she should delete these strikes and just apologize and move on. It's kind of, again, the strikes and effect that we see a lot on the Internet. And when creators and different individuals try and put, remove something it just draws more attention to it okay so let's fast forward to the end of the Patriots game last night and my phone started buzzing because Manny Mua had just put out a new tweet wanted to come here and address the copyright strike I placed on T Spill's channel I reached out to T Spill and we solved the issue and I removed the strike placed on her channel honestly guys I did it out of frustration. I was getting hundreds of hate comments. Well, first thing I want to say to Manny is, Manny, you are a huge celebrity now. You have to remove yourself, either turn the comments off if you can't handle it, 
or just ignore people. Your opinion and your artistic license is yours. It's yours and yours only. If people don't like it, like you say at the beginning of each video, don't bleeping watch it. Okay, so I'm really happy that these two worked worked their problems and differences out. I think this could have been done in a much more adult way, but I also think YouTube needs to revisit their policy about copyright striking and the ramifications of doing so if there's not really a copyright infringement. I think there should be a way for people to report something they're uncomfortable with to YouTube, a different button, something of that nature. Moving along. Okay, guys, next up, Shane Dawson. New conspiracy series coming out on January 30th. Oh, my goodness, I am so excited. You know, Shane has been off for about three months, really probably only two. He moved into a beautiful new house with his boyfriend, Rylan Adams, and we're so excited for Shane. He is such a wonderful person. He has been working very closely with Jeffree Star, and we are so excited. They keep talking about a new collab in 2019. I have been reading on different forums, whether it's Reddit or different um, YouTube channels, that his conspiracy series may be about aliens. Coincidentally, didn't Jeffrey just release an alien palette? Could there be something on the horizon with aliens? But um, we will see January 30th. I'm so excited. This is the coolest thing, and I just feel like it cap, you know, encapsulates her whole entire being. No, I, like, when I saw that Gucci was doing You're the Pig, and I knew that, like, I don't know, just everything, the way we work together, and, like, what we're planning, and then Gucci, yeah, and all, all these it's, things, it's, 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 it yeah. felt very, like, a moment. Yeah. I was like, whoa, this is, like, the universe being, like, this is so, meant to be. Well okay, guys, so please like and subscribe below so that if Gucci or Louis Vuitton does a collab with Jeffrey and Shane, I can afford to buy some of these products. Because Last but not least, Miss Tati Westbrook has announced that she will no longer be filming five days a week on her YouTube channel, that she's just being stretched a little too thin. Additionally, we're so excited for her that she is going to try to have a baby with her husband. Basically, I'm here to just admit and be open that I'm stretched too thin. You know, running this indie brand and my channel five days a week is not working for me anymore. A big reason for that is that James and I are trying to have a baby and we are actively uh, pursuing fertility treatments and um, kind of figuring out what's gonna work best for us. I do have some fertility issues. I've talked about that really briefly. Guys, thanks for tuning in today. Again, please like and subscribe uh, subscribe below and please whatever you do do not leave um, negative comments or we just want this to be a fun channel um, where you know smiles are free and the tea is always hot so have a great day see you Wednesday
and makeup. So you guys, there are big things on the horizon. I, I love working, I love creating and seeing something go from being a sketch, which the bottle of Halo itself, like I can remember clear as day sitting down and drawing it and being like, do you think we could do a mold of this? Like, do you think we could find this gold? Do you think that we could use this font? You know, I think I wanna have like, a cosmetic feel with it. And I had all these ideas and there's nothing more exciting to me than seeing those ideas actually become an actual product and one that is helping people so much. So I thrive there, I love that. I also love filming so much, you know, like there are a lot of good things in my life and it's almost overload, you know? I'm obsessed with growing my brand, I'm obsessed with product development, I'm obsessed with you guys having the best customer experience that you can with Halo. I'm also obsessed with you guys enjoying my channel and, you know, finding my videos useful and I'll always try to raise the bar. It's important to me, it's important to you guys. So um, so that also makes it important to me for different reasons. Basically, I'm here to just admit and be open that I'm stretched too thin. You know, running this indie brand and my channel five days a week is not working for me anymore. A big reason for that is that James and I are trying to have a baby and we are actively uh, pursuing fertility treatments and um, kind of figuring out what's gonna work best for us. I do have some fertility issues. I've talked about that really briefly. I've never really gone in depth with that because I mean, 